It's neat getting a different angle of the Taj Mahal. There's no one here, so we have the place to ourselves, which makes it nice and special as well. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in India. If you're new to the channel, this is April and I'm Wayne. Oh yeah, that's the Taj Mahal. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. journey. Here we are at Mehtab Bagh. Mehtab means moon, Bagh is a garden. It's the other side of the Taj Mahal. Look at that one, oh, right wow. at the back of it. The Emperor Mughal number no. 5, Shah Jahan, got the Taj Mahal built for the love of his life, and the queen was called Mumtaz Mahal. When the Taj was getting the final construction, before the Empress under house arrest or confinement to his own palace, this man used to come sit in these gardens and admire the beauty under full moon night. He started calling this public garden Mehtab Bagh or moon garden basically. It's 300 rupees a person to come in to the uh, gardens. We'll put the price on the screen. Our guy was saying this is the perfect place to come to watch the sunset over the Taj. And it's obviously a lot cheaper than going to see the Taj. <laughs> but and it's you also, have to go see the Taj Mahal. And it's also open for the moonlight view as well. They keep this uh, open, the gardens, every full moon night that comes once in a month. So two days before the moonlight and the two days after the moonlight, they open the garden so people can come and see the uh, Taj Mahal and the full moon. It's beautiful. If it's got good clear sky, you got to do it once in your life. We have a full moon now. The skies won't allow that. It was declared the Peacock National Bird reason because it can be easily identified anywhere by anyone. So the people know it's not a different species of the bird. It's just normal and people can easily find with this color, with the structure, it's a peacock. It doesn't look like any other bird, it's just unique. So it was easily found in any region of India, down south, east, west, north. It's easily found, easily recognized by common men. That's why it was called National Bird of India. And look at the reflection. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It looks so different. It's hard to believe it's so old in such great shape. So friends, we can see there was already something built around here. It was an yeah. octagon stamp. Well, I need to add the story. When Emperor Shah Jahan was sitting here and admiring, gazing the beauty of Taj Mahal and a full moon night, this was also getting a reflection in the river, oh. like a mirror image, right? Oh. So there were like two Taj Mahal, one real, one image. And this clicked in his mind, Emperor's mind, and he started imagining a second Taj Mahal. So let's construct a black Taj Mahal on the other side of the river. So you can see some excavation, ASI, Archaeological mm -hmm. Department. He laid the foundation of the black Taj in octagon shape, but unfortunately he could not continue. Reason? He was under house arrest. Uh, he was son confined put him in to his own palace for seven years. It was the sun, right? But some historians do believe it's a myth. It was just a reflection in the river and people started making a story that there was a plan of a black Taj Mahal. Mm. Archaeological department never found any black foundation. Yeah, and it's in it's perfect in line. Perfect center, perfect yeah. alignment, perfect reflection. That would have been amazing. You sure. The black Taj Mahal, another one. So is this a well? It was a well, one of the step wells they had. Well, water was much required here. You need water for anything. Sure. They are like more than 10 water wells here, step wells, uh, these ground wells. Step well basically is a place where you store water for your storage in the dry season. See, you're going towards Rajasthan. It's all desert, right? So the old technique was to store water as much because the monsoon was only for two months there. So they used to store water for the next season basically because water was a crisis that time. It was all dry area. Sure. Step well, so you got steps to go in to lift the water in buckets through the ropes like you do in a step uh, okay. well basically like pulleys you have sure. and you use the water for your necessity. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend and like always, thank you for living, living lives. lives.